Can technology enable paralyzed individuals to walk again? Is it possible to bypass the damaged parts of the spine and make limbs function normally? These are the bold claims made by Elon Musk, the man behind the ambitious Neuralink project. Imagine a brain chip that could let the brain communicate with paralyzed parts of the body, a possibility that Musk suggests could be a reality in the future. This comes after Neuralink's recent demonstration of one of their first human patients, a paraplegic man playing chess telepathically using the Neuralink chip. It's a glimpse into a future where the lines between the human brain and technology blur, opening up a world of possibilities for those who have lost their mobility. The potential of Neuralink's technology seems immense. But how did this all begin? The journey of Neuralink started in 2016 with Elon Musk's vision, his mind brimming with ideas that often seemed to leap straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, Musk had a dream to bridge the gap between man and machine. He wanted to create a seamless connection where our thoughts could directly interact with digital devices. This dream led to the inception of Neuralink, a company dedicated to medical research and pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. Neuralink's mission was clear from the start, to develop a chip that could link the human brain with computers. The goal was not to create some dystopian future where machines control our thoughts. Instead, it was to provide a lifeline to those living with paralysis, neurological disorders and other debilitating conditions. The idea was to shunt signals from the brain's motor cortex past damaged parts of the body, allowing people to regain control of their limbs. This was not a small feat. The brain is a complex organ filled with billions of neurons constantly sending and receiving signals. To tap into this network, Neuralink needed a device that was both incredibly precise and incredibly robust. The result was the Neuralink chip, a device that would embed 64 thread-like electrodes into various sites on the brain. In January 2024, Neuralink revealed that the first human patients had received the implant. Among these pioneers was Noland Arbaugh, a 29-year-old man who had been paralyzed from the neck down following a driving accident eight years prior. Nolan's life, like that of many others with similar conditions, was drastically changed when he became part of the first wave of human trials for the Neuralink chip. The technology enabled him to perform an activity that many of us take for granted, but was a monumental achievement for him. Playing chess on his computer. But he wasn't using any ordinary mouse or keyboard. No, Nolan was playing chess using nothing but his brain. The Neuralink chip implanted in Nolan's brain acts as a bridge connecting his thoughts directly to the computer. As he sat in his wheelchair, he astounded everyone by proclaiming, see that cursor on the screen? That's all me. It's all brain power. His joy was palpable. Nolan likened his newfound ability to using the Force from Star Wars, a fitting metaphor for a technology that seems almost otherworldly. He explained that he was an avid chess player before the accident, and thanks to Neuralink, he could once again engage in the game he loved. The first human trials, such as Nolan's, have shown promising results in detecting neuron spikes, a vital aspect of how the brain communicates. These initial tests have given us a glimpse into the potential impact of the Neuralink chip on the lives of paralyzed patients. But the question still lingers, how does the Neuralink chip work? The Neuralink chip functions by embedding 64 thread-like electrodes into various sites on the brain. Now you might be wondering, how does this tiny chip get into the brain? Well, the process is as intriguing as the chip itself. To implant the chip, a small portion of the patient's skull is removed. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. This procedure is performed by a robot surgeon, which operates with a precision that far surpasses human capabilities. The robot, which Musk describes as sewing machine-like, implants each of these thread-like electrodes into the brain. These electrodes, each thinner than a human hair, are designed to record spikes in brain activity. Every thought, every intention, every iota of cognition creates electrical signals. These signals, or spikes, are picked up by the electrodes and sent wirelessly to a computer. This is where the magic happens. The computer, equipped with advanced machine learning algorithms, interprets these signals. It's like learning a new language, where the computer is trying to understand the dialect of the brain. Over time, the computer gets better at this, translating brain activity into actions in the digital world. And what about the patient post-procedure? The robot surgeon stitches up the hole, 
leaving only a small scar around the incision. According to Musk, the entire procedure takes about 30 minutes with patients not needing to go under general anesthetic, they should be able to return home the same day, as was the case with Mr. Arbaugh, who described the surgery as super easy. Currently, the Neuralink chip functions as a brain-computer interface, meaning it allows people to control a computer using their brain activity, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. While the current function of the Neuralink chip is impressive, Elon Musk suggests that the chip's potential is far greater. Imagine a future where the chip could send signals from the brain to other parts of the body, perhaps enabling paralyzed individuals to regain the use of their limbs. But that's a story for another day. Elon Musk suggests that the chip might be used to send signals from the brain to other parts of the body. This is not just an offhand comment from the tech mogul, but a glimpse into a future where the boundaries of human capability are redefined. Consider the implications. If a chip can help a paraplegic man play chess with his thoughts, what more could it achieve? Musk's vision for Neuralink extends far beyond computer interfacing. His bold prediction is that this technology could one day restore physical mobility to those who have lost it. A claim that, while ambitious, is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Imagine a world where spinal cord injuries no longer mean a lifetime of paralysis. Picture a future where the simple act of sending signals from the brain could bypass damaged parts of the spine, allowing paralyzed individuals to regain control of their limbs. This could be revolutionary, not just for those affected by paralysis, but also for our understanding of the human body and its potential. However, it's important to remember that these are predictions, not guarantees. While this technology is promising, it's still in its early stages. The journey from here to a future where paralysis can be overcome through a chip is likely to be a long one, filled with trials, errors, and breakthroughs. But isn't that the essence of innovation? The audacity to dream, the courage to attempt the impossible, and the resilience to keep pushing boundaries. Musk's vision for Neuralink is a testament to this spirit, a beacon of hope for millions of paralyzed individuals around the world. As we continue to explore the possibilities of this technology, we must bear in mind the ethical considerations and potential risks. After all, with great power comes great responsibility. But if we navigate this path with caution and conscientiousness, who knows what we might achieve? So are we standing on the brink of a revolution that could change the lives of paralyzed individuals forever? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The future is looking brighter, and it's thanks to daring visions like Musk's Neuralink. Neuralink, from its inception to its current state, has been a journey of innovation and courage. We've delved into the roots of this groundbreaking project, tracing its evolution from a bold idea in 2016 to its present stage, where we're witnessing the first human trials. It's truly remarkable to see how this brain chip has enabled Nolan Arbaugh, a man paralyzed from the neck down, to regain a level of autonomy by interfacing directly with a computer. We explored how this technology works with its 64 thread-like electrodes recording brain activity and transmitting it wirelessly to a computer. The process of implanting the chip, although it sounds daunting, was described by Mr. Abo as super easy, illustrating the strides Neuralink has made in both technology and patient experience. Looking towards the future, the possibilities seem limitless. Neuralink's vision extends beyond brain-computer interface. Elon Musk envisions a future where the chip could even facilitate communication between the brain and paralyzed parts of the body. This suggests a future where paralysis could be overcome, an incredible testament to the power of technology. Neuralink's technology holds the promise of a future where limitations can be overcome and where the impossible may just become possible.